Hi friends, it's Drayton with Dray's World. I am at Don's Marine Salvage today, looking for a couple parts, not just for the boat, but for the Vanessey. I've had a lot of time on my hands lately to do some improvements on the Vanessey. Today I'm looking for a sink. There are so many things here at Don's, you just can't even believe it. If you're looking for a specific motor part, you can probably find it here. It would be very unfortunate though, if it were in the motor that's like down, way down there. Gas tanks. There are these trailers all over the property and they're full of different types of things. Like for instance, this one has got stainless steel threaded rod. Look how big that is, it's all stainless. Piano hinges. sandpaper this place goes on for days and days there's there's buildings here look at this this building has two aisles in it completely full of stuff the next time you need some very obscure or specific size of aluminum this could be the place you find it. Also stainless steel. That's nice. I had to drop in here today for the sink and also Don is, is making some uh, lifelines for my sailboat. Lifelines are the, the lines that surround the outside perimeter of the boat so you don't fall off. Uh, or if you do, it saves your life but they're not done yet. So I thought I'd take the time and walk around here a little bit and show you around. To give you a little perspective of how big this place is, way over there you see the those racks in the far background. Well, over behind those racks and those trees is the motor area that I showed you before. And then it goes all the way past this fence where you see these boats. That's all part of Don's too. That is the cool section where you can go climb in the boats and pick off any of the things you need. So let's say that you owned a boat, a lot like Valkyrie here, and you needed a part, say it was on the top up there. Like say maybe you needed this, this little switch here well, then you just have to get up here and get it. This is a pretty cool boat. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's still, still food in the fridge. A lot of the boats are like this and they're pretty chopped up and easy to get into. Oh, this is a cool one. Oh, party, party boat. seen better days these boats are really cool to check out but you don't want to stay too long in them not only is it Florida hot in there they, uh, they have a certain aroma a lot of them you know of uh, pretty musty I'm back in one of the buildings here building two and I have found what I'm looking for this sink it's gonna be perfect for the fantasy some others but I don't need any bigger one it's a big big line there wow
Don's is a cool place, isn't it? It's such a time-consuming adventure every time. I was there for about an hour. It was, it's always fun. So friends, I wanted to ask you a question. If you wouldn't mind, leave a comment below. I'd like to know if you would like more vlogs like this where I'm just kind of walking around here at the old post office downtown St. Petersburg. Beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. They're doing some renovations on this very historical building. But anyway, I wanted to ask if you would be interested in seeing more vlogs like this a couple times a week, maybe three, four times a week, a little more unedited, not as, uh, it wouldn't take me as much time to edit these and uh, not necessarily specific locations or places. You would see things like, like uh, the fact that I actually have lost my key to my post office box. 2141 here. I was a step ahead of you friends. I had already ordered two extra keys for the box and let's test it out. Oh yes, there it is. This is really the coolest post office that I've ever been to. It may sound a little strange uh, saying something like that, but I've collected postage stamps since I was a little kid, still do. I've had a PO box here at the only open air post office to my knowledge in the United States. I think maybe there's one more. It's a very historical location here. What I typically do is spend a lot of time editing these videos and try to make an adventure out of it. But you know, I want to be out there more. I want to do some more stuff with you guys. I want to take you along. Be more spur of the moment than random things and actually show you what Dre's world is all about. <laughs> How I fill my shopping cart. Most of you probably don't really care. In essence, friends, would you mind just leaving a comment and letting me know what you'd like to see on this channel? I do go to a, a lot of pretty cool places and hey, I'd like to take you along more. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting to hear back from you, I'm gonna throw a couple more videos up in this coming week and we'll just see where we land. I'm gonna do some impromptu traveling and some quick editing, just experiment a little bit. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.